Did Jesus return from the dead? The four E's summarize the evidence. The first E is for execution. Virtually every scholar, believer or non-believer, concedes that Jesus was executed in uh, the first century, 30 or 33 AD. The atheist New Testament scholar, Gerd Ludeman, says Jesus' execution is an indisputable fact. Uh, secondly, you have early accounts that Jesus rose from the dead. So it can't be a legend. It took a long time for legend to develop in the ancient world. But in the case of the resurrection of Jesus, we have historical data. It goes back to within months. And to me, it rules out the possibility that the resurrection is merely a legend. And third, he is for empty. We have an empty tomb. Even the enemies of Jesus admitted it was empty. The disciples stole the body. Frankly, nobody believed that then. Nobody believes it now. Disciples didn't have the motive or the means or the opportunity. I think the best explanation for the empty tomb is that Jesus rose from the dead, especially when we combine it with the fourth word that begins with E, which is the word eyewitnesses. That Jesus appeared alive in a dozen different instances to more than 515 individuals.